Cars with independent suspension systems generally provide a smoother ride and better handling because the suspension is kept at a lower, unsprung mass. Another benefit of independent suspension is the ability for the front wheels to move independently. So when a wheel on one side of the vehicle hits a bump in the road, it won't disrupt the wheel on the other side on the same axle. One of the most common independent suspension systems is the McPherson strut system. Several designs are available and can be used on both the front and rear of the vehicle. An important part of the system is the strut, which consists of a spring and shock absorber unit. If the strut is used on the front axle, it's attached to the steering knuckle top. The steering knuckle is attached to a lower control arm through a ball joint. The arm is attached at two places to the body or frame. A-type control arms have their attaching points as part of the lower control arm. This prevents backward and forward movement, so a stabilizer rod is not needed. If you're using a single point control arm, it must have a stabilizer bar for the second point to control the movement. This stabilizer bar extends from the body subframe to the outer end of the control arm, which keeps the arm in place during braking and accelerating. On some vehicles, a torsion bar may be found in place of coil springs. It's attached at the inner fulcrum point of the control arm and deflects or twists around its center. It can be fitted to the control arm as seen here or the upper control arm depending on the vehicle. When the suspension is deflected, the unequal lengths of the links allow the track of the vehicle to stay virtually unchanged. The only exception are possible minor changes to the camber angle. Because as a car leans during cornering, the inner wheel leans outwards at the top and the outer wheel leans inward, both of which helps maintain maximum tire contact with the road surface.